Hi, this is uh, Mike Shaw, and uh, this is the first, the last, the nerddom. Yes, and I'm uh, Thomas uh, McAllister, and today we're going to be talking about Squid Game, um, a very popular show on Netflix. Actually, I think it's uh, the most watched uh, show um, from the numbers, I think is 142 or 43 million wow. people have seen the show, so it's massive, and uh, it seems like uh, South Korean entertainment's kind of invaded America. Uh, I know the kids love the K-pop with BTS, and um, there was the movie Parasite that came out a couple of years ago. That I love that movie. Yeah, not only won Best Foreign Film, but Best Film for uh, 2019. And uh, actually, that movie kind of deals with some of the themes that Squid Games does with the uh, the rich and the poor and the uh, disparity between the two. It does. Um, it does. Mm -hmm. Which seems to be, I don't know if that's just two that stand out from South Korea, but it seems to be one of the themes that they like to, to deal with, um, which I guess is on the creator's mind. And uh, Squid Game actually started off as a uh, film script the uh, creator of it he wrote it in 2009 and tried shopping it around but um no none of the studios wanted it they said it was too violent too out really? there yeah <laughs> i had heard that i had heard that um he made a little <clears throat> bit of money but he didn't make like um forget you kind of money from the whole thing like he he, he was comfortable mm -hmm. but i i did hear that through like twitter and mm -hmm. The, the other other things in the in the world of mm -hmm. <laughs> people yeah. have an opinion somewhere on some social uh -huh. media thing. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, Netflix um, came looking for overseas creators, um, and uh, yeah, in 2019 they they latched on him and he um, gave them this idea for the show, and uh, they ordered the the nine episodes. They so. <laughs> So like a uh, parasite, and I just have to say this because it, it came up. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, a dish there that they made that was like cheap noodles, and like really oh, uh -huh. steak, uh, steak or whatever. I can't remember what the name of it was, but I have mm -hmm. I, I've made it with some friends, and uh, it was it was actually really good. It's like uh, <laughs> but but that nice. in and of itself is like a small snapshot of the class uh, thing that you were talking about, like rich poor. Mm -hmm. It's uh, mm -hmm. like they're so rich that they can afford. You know, the noodles are no problem, but they can afford the really expensive steak and then just chop it up mm -hmm. and cook it in like a comfy type meal uh, uh -huh. is is it interesting itself. And, and and we can go into that if, if it's relevant. But that's mm -hmm. what I remember from Parasite. And, and I also I love that movie, mm -hmm. too. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. recall the uh, the director, but Squid Games. Definitely. I did uh -huh. get that vibe of. Well, first off, I guess we're, if we were to set it up. They're on. An, uh, are they on an island? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, and it, it was. Mm -hmm. And it will walk us in from there because I I I watched mm -hmm. it and I, I saw everything, but I, like like we, we talked about it earlier anyway. Like take it from there. Like the, build the picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the um, I'm horrible with uh, names and um, sure South Korean names. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll probably butcher them. So. The, most of the characters, um, they, they're they invited to an island and they're assigned numbers. So I'll, I'll, I'll go with the numbers. <laughs> sure. Our uh, main main guy is uh, 456. Right. Uh, he's our main protagonist. Uh, he's introduced. He's um, a likable guy, but he does horrible things to people. Like uh, he steals money from his mother uh, to go gambling and he... Uh, um, it's his child's birthday that he's estranged from his uh, family, and uh, he, he's a coin op machine to try to get a, a gift for his his daughter. So he he has good intentions, but they're they're misled, and right. uh, he he gets uh, and uh, he, he does uh, win some in his gambling, but it's stolen from him and. Um, the uh, loan sharks that he uh, is indebted to or threatened to uh, remove some of his uh, <laughs> vital organs uh, to pay it back. And so he's uh, he's very much down on his luck and he runs into this guy, which turns out to be um, the 
the the guy that uh, will interview people for the for the Squid Games or the uh, the game um, competition. And uh, in that that meeting, they play a game. I, I wasn't familiar with the game, but they mm-hmm. threw a little um, uh, cards or whatever and tried to flip them or something. I, I wasn't sure on the rules on that. But um, but since the guy did four five six didn't have any money to um, gamble with, the guy uh, traded him with slaps, and so that was uh, sort of a a test to see if the participant would be willing to suffer pain in a game right. to uh, to gain. Uh, so that was kind of a measure of the person, and uh, so. He does decide to uh, join in to uh, this game to win money, and uh, they he gets into a van that he gets knocked out and right. uh, drugged, and they go and they uh, secret them off to this island right. to participate. Yeah, I had uh, I refrained <laughs> from looking at too many um, YouTube explain it videos <laughs> to retain my own opinion of of things and. There seems to be uh, a the, the dichotomy between the way that the play, there's obviously the players, and mm-hmm. I don't know if, uh, from my perspective the same thing. Uh, maybe you can confirm it or not or whatever. But it seems to me like while watching it, there was definitely a direct like level of players. They they seem to have some kind of hook in them or some kind of gotcha that if, mm-hmm. kind of kind of sort of forced them to enter into this crazy spectacle that they had no idea what was going on. Mm-hmm. And then there's the matter of the player or the, uh, the red folks with the PlayStation symbol. <laughs> moments. Yeah. That's funny. Right. We didn't talk about it, but, uh, but I thought of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, like the exactly. PlayStation well, guys. <laughs> right. Right. And then you like, as you go, and this is spoilers too, like, and then you oh, go yeah, on definitely. the series and then you, you understand there's like the, the hierarchy, uh, the players, the um, mm-hmm. different levels of like what they do, like some have done, some don't, some have to keep their mask on in their dormitory or their room or whatever. Like they're not allowed mm-hmm. to talk, like whatever. Mm-hmm. And this is strict rules between for the players, but also for the actual um, administrators of the game, like the the red suits, mm-hmm. I guess, is what you would call them. Right. Um, yeah. It's such a such a different contrast in Star Trek if you're wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but all dumb stuff aside, then there's the uh, the hierarchy and then there's like the head person and then like mm-hmm. like what was your impression as a, as you walked through the season for the leaders and like what happened there and again spoilers uh, mm-hmm. all, all around because we're talking mm-hmm. about this in general <laughs> absolutely um yeah the i was very impressed uh, as far as the episodes are concerned i think the strongest episode was the first episode uh, which that. which makes sense because it hooks you in right and uh the visual style like um when everybody's gathered in it's like just this big dormitory or um kind of a gen- gymnasium with a bunch of beds and it's very stark and they're in their green jumpsuits and mm-hmm. everybody's in the same green jumpsuit and uh, you have these mysterious, uh, like you said, red suit guys and enforcers. Right. And you kind of know that those PlayStation symbols mean something. And later on, you realize, I believe the square ones are like the grunts. And then the, right. I, I forget, like the circles are higher up and, right. and so like, forth. I, yeah, I remember. Um, I can't remember which which symbol it was, but like there were like ones were guards. Ones were like the caretakers. Ones were like, you know, trusted. There was like some kind of hierarchy there. And like, I didn't pay attention yeah. to like every level. Like, <laughs> like, I can't, like but for sure. Right. Absolutely. And then, then there's like the, the guy, the head guy, that's the face of the company. And then there's like the mysterious uh, leader that you don't actually see until, till the end it's revealed. That, but uh, that's the, you're talking about the first guy you're talking about is the host or whatever. Yeah, the host. Yeah, that's and right. Then, uh-huh. And then the second level guy that makes sure everything's uh, the manager of everything is like the front man or, or front guy or something like that, uh-huh. right? Yeah, yeah. With the the facial mask or whatever. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was... <laughs> it's something that you don't see or come across uh, 
like that and it's kind of even more surprising that it came by storm honestly like it's it's like you mm -hmm. never know what people are going to like <laughs> right absolutely and i think it has to do with a lot of the imagery in that first uh episode because like when they leave the uh the little housing that they're in and they go into the um place proper is this mc escher brightly colored stairs and everything That's and true. it's it yeah. kind of explodes your senses and you're like oh wow what what in the world is this place right and then they go off into the first game which is uh red light um uh red light green light and you don't actually enter a field but it it's painted like a field you're in this big room and you get this very unworldly feeling because you're like okay this seems similar but it's not and then you have that giant doll i guess you could probably pull up the doll uh that actually um is the the thing that counts off and uh, whenever she turns her head head around if you're in motion uh you get shot <laughs> right. which they soon realize <laughs> um yeah but, but that doll uh i read uh is actually kind of based off of um a children's textbook image that's, ex that, uh, that's exactly <laughs> what i pulled up like explaining that uh -huh. kind of the thing but go ahead yeah go ahead. oh yeah 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 so, the, so that there's that um that dichotomy of uh this childhood memory of <laughs> this doll she's uh you know unleashing this destruction on uh on these people and uh you're just kind of uh you know stopped abruptly with all the all the violence yeah it it is it shocks you when you least expect it like when you think mm -hmm the game's going to go a certain kind of way and then like especially that first mm -hmm. episode like where you see like mm -hmm. what's what, <laughs> what, you're in, what what you're in for and then it just kind of goes right from there. and different mm -hmm. levels of like um trust can i trust this player can i not trust mm -hmm. this player can i continue on like mm -hmm. forget it it's all it's it's mm -hmm. point, it's all pointless you see all point of views from the player's point of view like as the season as the season progresses and i was uh, the fact that it's so popular it, it kind of surprised me with the the violence because and it maybe shows like game of thrones and breaking bad has kind of desensitized us to the to the violence right. or maybe our society is just more accepting of it but you know think Always. of this show 20 years ago that wouldn't have happened <laughs> oh no no this not would like not that. been on tv <laughs> not like that it would have been something special or something called out or yeah, it would have been an underground, yeah, underground movie <laughs> that you'd have to import or something. <laughs> exactly. Right. That 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 was the uh, thing. Uh, and uh, the creator, um, it was it was pretty good. I I, I enjoyed it. I uh, for something like this is coming out of nowhere. I do worry about like the second season, kind of like that sequel effect for something you love. And then you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I, I want to see more of it. But then like the second thing comes out and then it just sophomore slump mm -hmm. is what they call it, I guess. But yeah, I have, yeah, I I have because mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with our our like how we normally bring things in for entertainment. Mm -hmm. So like maybe it'll mm -hmm. stand the test of, you know, you'll get the uh, exactly what the author wanted, like the game, like how mm -hmm. it was arranged and, and everything mm -hmm. else. But but yeah, I was reading, though, that. um he has he has no idea what he wants to do with the second season That's what i've heard so too. um he he read uh he wrote all of the uh first season by himself and he said that he'd probably bring in writers for the second season so that makes me a little bit nervous but uh i mean he's a creative guy so maybe he could pull it out i don't know if you want to touch on the the ending episode yet but um it kind of hit me in a weird way because I think the way it ended isn't true to the main character because he was such a, a giving person and the fact and he, he did the whole games for his daughter and right. he's off to see his daughter and then he decides it pulls him back in and that kind of defeats the purpose of the season <laughs> yeah somewhat. I, I don't know like i i think some of the season I thought was filler. 
<laughs> let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. The, and, and the fact not, that it was not, a two hour movie right. to start with. Yeah. You could see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah not, not bad filler, but just kind of mm-hmm. like, this is just keeping this, the exposition going, the storyline going, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. The whole thing about them uh, voting to, uh, <laughs> to leave, that was kind of a shock, but it also, <laughs> put a stop in the whole narrative and you knew they were going to go back right well, <laughs> absolutely it, again it so an artificial thing to keep you know that keep <laughs> eyeballs <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> absolutely yeah and uh I, I liked all the the different games uh but the first one was such a visually strong uh and uh shocking one that each additional game really didn't stand out as, you know, you know, the, wow, what's going on here? It was like, right. oh, okay, this, this is what they're doing. Yeah, I think <laughs> the only other one that really stood out was kind of like the same thing that's out there that I had kind of sort of already seen uh, beforehand, before watching them, like the memes and all that. Mm-hmm. And I, I was spoiled mm-hmm. by, I didn't jump on the first train or whatever. I was very late to it. I actually finished mm-hmm. it up this week. Uh, and I had seen like a few up to that point to know, know enough to know, like, I like this and I want to watch more of it basically. But mm-hmm. that, the, uh, the, the game where they had to, uh, like, uh, chip away and make the, uh, certain kind of shape, you know, in the cookie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was like, kind of, you can kind of see, I'm not saying that I could see it all down the line. I couldn't, but it kind of right. got, like I said, filler, <laughs> not in a yeah. bad way, but you know. Uh-huh. Oh, an interesting little tidbit. I, I watch. I, I know you haven't watched a lot of the reviews and stuff, but I did watch a few. And one, one guy pointed out, like in the tug of war uh, competition, that mm-hmm. there was a an odd out team. So, you know, it wasn't even. So that that they either one team did not compete, or they uh, they went twice <laughs> in the right, tug of right. war. And right. um and from the numbers that came back, I guess he was kind of being a little <laughs> particular about it, but um it looks like they just they didn't actually compete. They went back in. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> so but they kind of glossed over that, so uh <laughs> you didn't notice. <laughs> right, or right, most right. of us didn't. <laughs> yeah, that the it, I, I was uh I was happy with it. And I, I do I do want to see more. Um it would be interesting to see like how they well they they purposely left some questions open so you know mm-hmm. how the players get in there kind of sort of like they're right down right now, the main ones they're, they're, uh-huh. they're, yeah there's somebody that has a hook or needs something and they bring them in and draw them into like well you need to be mm-hmm. part of these games so you can have whatever you need fixed or or more money or whatever mm-hmm. you know but mm-hmm. the the other the the red hat or the red suits i guess i don't know what you call them but yeah. the red suits like uh it's like well how did they happen and then they had I was kind of confused on the um, the red and the blue envelope scenes, you know, like when they would go to a person and and they would they pick one or the other. I'm not uh-huh. quite sure how that plays into the other side, and I am not going to pretend to know anything about any of this. But right. <laughs> I was just like, well, obviously, if they pick red, then they're that, but eh, it, didn't, it didn't feel like it works that way. It seems like it's more. I don't know if they drew. It would be interesting to hear the like director's commentary on if he was trying to do something with that, like versus the Matrix or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe, but that's the only yeah, thing that came yeah, to mind. That that's kinda, thought, yeah. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I was confused a, a, a few times mm-hmm. <laughs> throughout the series. Like, <laughs> I understand right. that the bigger picture, but like the intricacies, like I was lost mm-hmm. on, it, and I'm not even going to. Well, that's. It. And uh, another thing I was going to bring up, the whole thing with the police officer sneaking in and you're seeing the other side of uh, the uh, thing with the, the red suits, right. that kind of detracted from the story for me. It was like, I rather had them be this mysterious right. uh, force, this force, because right. when you get, get back there, you realize they're just bumbling idiots as well. <laughs> you know, they're, I, they're not that's... really following <laughs> That's why, like, the players were very clear how they got there, but the other thing mm-hmm. was kind of, like, muddled, I yeah. guess. I don't know. And I guess maybe right. for an effect yeah. that I, I'm just not smart enough to pick up on or what, but uh-huh. you know, obviously the front runner and the, you know, the host was, like, there. Those were obviously mm-hmm. well called out, but mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, well, what about exactly. this guy, you know? Uh-huh. 
And uh, but yeah, so in the, that whole police officer storyline, it ends with uh, his brother killing him, and it was like, okay, what was real? What was really the point? Because I didn't feel really emotionally for either one of them, you know. <laughs> exactly. That was kind of I found that more than not, and and I think that's just me. Obviously, I'm American, and I come from like a, you know, certain decades of what I watch and I don't know right. it's just like one of those things like I really think I'll get the point if I rewatch it you know um because mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll see all kinds of stuff that I didn't see yeah. before but and I enjoyed it and I would mm -hmm. I would watch it again if it was good mm -hmm. um, yeah it bears it bears like worth uh more so than I can say for other sequels on Netflix the uh mm -hmm. mainly and I don't want to get into it but like there was the army uh army of the dead and then they recently released oh, Army, yeah. Army of Thieves or whatever. Like, uh, yeah. We don't have to get into it, but like it, the, the two movies are very different. Like there is uh, like not right. anything for me to stick around for the second one, but there was something right. entertaining for the first one. But mm -hmm. Netflix is kind of like that. I, I feel like it's kind of like they, mm -hmm. they could do something really good that is entertaining. It's not greatest of all time by any means, mm -hmm. but it's good enough to hit our entertainment centers mm -hmm. in the brain and like keep us yeah. up <laughs> right exactly okay yeah uh, what's going to happen in that next episode <laughs> uh what are your thoughts on like how it ended and how it went like do you think it stands on its own do you think it it people need to see it more or or it, it maybe opens up a gateway of like other things that we'll get into a little bit later of like you know there's uh mm -hmm. other stuff here sci-fi related that has nothing to do with america and like you know comic mm -hmm. books and that, that kind of thing like from the perspective right. from that perspective right. what are your thoughts yeah i um that's kind of were you shocked that the that number one turned out to be the head guy because <laughs> um, that that, that kind of came out of nowhere for me and it, it makes sense i mean he was the happiest guy in the world in that first game <laughs> so i guess right. he felt like he was alive uh for the first time <laughs> in a long time and uh but yeah i in in the Oh, and one thing I was going to ask you, did you watch it dubbed or subtitled? I watched it dubbed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and I watched it subtitled. Okay. I, I listened to some of the dubbed and uh, some of those actors weren't very good. <laughs> as far as That's the... why, and, and that kind of goes, like, it's a me thing. Then, like, I'm not going to hold mm -hmm. it against it because I really need to watch mm -hmm. it a second time all the way through. Like, with uh -huh. sub, like, like with just with reading on this, like, I think that would be... Mm -hmm a lot more beneficial but in, in any case mm -hmm. it, it, it is what it is but like i kind of like started watching it was already yeah. set a certain way and i was like mm -hmm. oh, i'm already into yeah. it like uh, i'm used yeah. to watching this way <laughs> yeah it, it may be sacrilegious to say it but uh because uh, a lot of people are subtitles all the way with anime but i i'm kind of with the dub versions on anime as long as they sound all right because right. you're not losing that the the marriage of the person's physical and vocal performance you're just swapping out vocal performances whereas Wait. with the uh, live yeah. action I, i'd prefer subtitles to get that impact but, but you know to each his own <laughs> right and, and i'm not either way i do it was just like i tend to go with whatever however it plays you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like yeah I, absolutely my kids watch more than netflix than i do so nah. whatever their last thing when they were in my you know whatever that's a that's a stupid kiddo <laughs> thing but like that's it's just like, oh, this is how it is. And then you go back through and it's like, no, 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 there's subtitles there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the more, all the more reason to watch it, uh, a second uh, roll through again, but not compressed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The You said that you were spoiled on it. I um, I started with, I, I, I think I came about a week or two late to the game on it. Uh, no pun intended. But uh, they, they um, <laughs> but uh people were threatening to spoil it for me. So I did a, uh, a binge watch of it, which I don't normally like binge watching. Uh, I'd like to, to pace things out, but I, uh, I agree. I like to take things on my time, not, not their time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I used to like the fact that they would release everything all at once, but uh, I'm, I'm getting to the point where, I kind of like Disney's uh, Plus's plan of releasing it weekly, and, yep. and Amazon I think does the same thing. Yeah, they do. And, they uh, do. and uh, Apple Plus 
or excuse me, Apple TV Plus. I always make fun. I, I need to make fun of that more because it's such a stupid name. But yeah. Apple TV Plus, <laughs> like um, the foundation. Um, I think Invasion they, is a four-part miniseries, and they, I think they released that all at once. But for our Foundation, it's been every mm-hmm. week at uh, Thursday at midnight. I know I can watch mm-hmm. it, um, and like, and that's what I do. But I have a little mini. Mm-hmm. Me fest, but that's neither here nor there. But uh, maybe <laughs> right. we'll get to that eventually. But no, I, I do. Mm-hmm. I agree. I would rather look forward to something each week than like just have like a whole whole you know, dump of it. Yeah, it's there and then it's there, and you watch, you watch, mm-hmm. and it just feels be- Feels like it. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's uh, delayed gratification is always better for our society. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and it and it encourages discussions of. Uh, right. The individual episodes with um, friends or people online, like, "Hey, did you watch that latest episode?" It kind of gets to the return of that um, um, water cooler discussions uh, they used to have uh, back in the day with uh, uh, regular TV. Exactly. Yeah, I'm I'm bringing up. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm dumb. We I think we ended up being uh, IMDb is our thing. Uh, and I, of course, I screwed up here in the thing, but uh, oh, pull that's all right. <laughs> while we were talking about it, so we don't lose anything. But that was, uh, I liked it. I would do, uh, I'm just trying to see if the if there's any overlap between Parasite and uh, the cast of Squid yeah. Games. I'm not going to be able to see this is the prior research that I should <laughs> beforehand, but I didn't. Oh, well, oh, anyway, the point cool. stands, <laughs> yeah, the point stands that uh, mm-hmm. we have. You know, there there are other sci-fi and not just plain Jane sci-fi that we're used to, but like concepts that I, this is why I love this. And, that, and that's why when you when you um, broach this idea of the whole let's use squid games, I love that because you it's it's not just cookie cutter, you know, I don't want to mm-hmm. say it, uh, but Disney Disney fied, you know, Marvel fied kind of right. Right. This is how it is, or and I'm I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I don't mean to pick on them, yeah. but like it's just kind of uh-huh. like if you talk to a normie, the first thing if you say science fiction, the first thing that's gonna pop in their mind is you know, the the most broad, wide stuff that is like nah, mm-hmm. I mean it is, but yeah. it is <laughs> right. <laughs> They'll go to Star Wars, right? <laughs> Star right. Wars, well, Star I, Trek. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's great, you know, like that that's yeah, yeah, great, absolutely. There's mm-hmm. other stuff out there, you know, like it's uh mm-hmm. it just it just it's kind of a it's a double-edged sword because you, last week we covered Dune, and you have mm-hmm. this thing like where there's this natural ingrained position of, oh, it's a sequel, it's going to be crap, but then you know then they make mm-hmm. Dune re or remake uh-huh. Dune for the umpteenth time, uh-huh. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. and then you just never know, you know. So mm-hmm. kudos to that too, Absolutely. but like I do I do like right. that they are trying new things and that they're. I think I agree. Mm-hmm. This is only going to become more popular. For example, mm-hmm. um, in my uh, area where I live, there is uh, there are parents uh, that watch K-pop or Korean soap operas. I don't know the name of mm-hmm. them, but they watch them and they are hooked on them. Mm-hmm. And they're then their mm-hmm. movies and all that stuff. They're tied into that. And like, yeah, that that would have never happened when we were growing up mm-hmm. as a kid because you know we had what we had but it just You're right yeah i'm all about it yeah. uh for wider points of view and and finding the next big thing i guess mm-hmm. i don't know well not quite mm-hmm. that but you know like the, yeah. the next big joy anyway mm-hmm. yeah and it, it's not south korean but um my my first exposure to asian cinema was back in the, the late 80s there was a uh Discovery Channel um, show, I think it was originally a BBC show, where the guy would spotlight weird cinema, and um, I, it pulled me in because he did an episode of Evil Dead, and I, I kind of liked the host. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll keep watching this, and he did a episode of, of uh, Asian cinema, and that was, uh, I saw clips from uh, John Woo movies, um, right, um, Jackie Chan, <laughs> and I was like, "Who is this guy?" Right. <laughs> and uh, and they showed like these um, horror movies, like uh, the Chinese Ghost Story, which uh, was just amazing. And then um, there's uh, one called Mr. Vampire, which played on the uh, Chinese myth of vampires, where 
um, if you hold your breath, a vampire couldn't see you, and um, the vampires actually hop. <laughs> so, in, in a lot of their uh, their horror movies, have lots of humor in it, um, juxtaposing the the horror elements of it. But uh, but yeah, ever since then, I, I uh, once I watched that show, I was like going to um, all these bootlegs um, pages and magazines and ordering these bootleg VHSs of these movies That's and fun. And, uh, and loving them. Is that, can you see the browser mm-hmm. window or whatever they pull up? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was like uh, trying to find it. That's cool. I, I've never seen that. That's kind of a cool thing. That's going to go on my next, I'm going to watch that pretty soon because I need to see that because uh, it looks cool. <laughs> it looks fancy, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right. Right. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, that, that exposed me. And now uh, whenever they started importing those uh, directors and like Jackie Chan and John Woo mm. over to American cinema, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. But, um, but they, they never really seemed to have the same freedom they had when they were doing those Hong Kong movies. Mm. It seems like, no. it seems like they, um, uh, in the Asian culture, they, they let them, let the creators do their own thing because, um, uh, every one of um, their movies are, are very different. Right. Like, um, like with the the director Parasite, uh, he also did uh, a straight up monster movie called The Host, and that one's uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, you click on the director. Yeah, up at the top. Uh, I top think it's, here. Yeah, I think his name's uh, yeah Bong Joon Ho. <laughs> I probably yeah. butchered that. Um, the host. Here we go. He he did uh did Snowpiercer as well. I have not. Oh, uh, what was it? What was that last one? Uh, Snowpiercer. Yes. Oh, that. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good uh-huh. one. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's cool. Uh, yeah. No, I agree. Um, yeah. I guess. Well, I get. Uh, I mean. Uh, so I guess. Uh, we've been talking about this for a little bit now. So at the end of the mm-hmm. day. Um, would you recommend folks see Squid Games? Plus, uh, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, maybe, maybe not, whatever. I think everybody's seen it, but <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think thumbs up. I think uh, as long as you're in for the the violence of it. And, yeah. Uh, oh, one one last thing I'd like to uh, point out. Oh yeah. Uh, I, re- I read uh, was that everybody, uh, most of everybody's death in the uh, show is um, kind of foreshadowed. By something happened in a, in a previous episode, like with the uh, oh. the Yakuza gang member, you know how he escaped the his the other gang members by jumping off the bridge, right. and then later in the uh, bridge game, that woman grabbed him and threw him off the bridge and killed That's him. That's right. I didn't see. I and, didn't make that connection. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, the um, the girl, I I don't know her name, but um, the main the main female uh, antagonist, area protagonist, um, early in the thing, she threatened that one guy with a knife to his throat about right. um, that. Uh, bringing his, her family over, and then she gets killed by a slash to the throat by <laughs> by the That's guy. True. I did not. Yeah. I did not do that. I see. This is why I want to watch it again because I'm going to miss all this cool stuff. Like really, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I would agree with you. Uh, it is very violent. Um, it is not a family film at all. I would say no. Um, not unless you have a teenager or whatever, or whatever right. age you you say. Yeah. But like, my daughter would have nightmares if she watched it. If we watched mm-hmm. it together, my son, he'd be fine. You know, but he's mm-hmm. like, you know, twelve, thirteen. He's going to be fine, but yeah uh, no i agree um i look forward to see what they do i'm kind of skeptical like i want to be i want to love season two if they do it if they if they do do it but mm-hmm. if they don't you know it is what it is but oh I, i'm sure they're going to throw a bunch of money at the uh, creator uh-huh. to, to do another season yeah I yeah i mean that's a guarantee <laughs> well like you said um, excuse me <clears throat> he had to kind of go all out to kind of put it out there and then the second time around, he's got a little bit more breathing room anyway, but mm-hmm. in any case. All right. So uh, we both agreed to uh, see it. It's a unique <laughs> perspective. Um, you have mm-hmm. any uh, uh, other last comments about it? No, I think that's um, that kind of covers it all. Cool. Cool. Um, all right. 
so that was our first that was the first look at uh, or the first uh, word look uh, review of uh, squid games and uh, we both recommend to see it and then uh, the, for the next half we'll, we'll go into uh, some little things like um, influences that made us um, in in this sphere so like non non-western uh, media that that we both uh, kind of had experience with in our in our uh, short lives, mm -hmm. and, yeah. as it pertains to science fiction or fantasy or whatever, <laughs> comic mm -hmm. books, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. I um, like I said that I think that that first uh, look at the Asian cinema was was an eye opener. I was like, oh wow, there's there's other things <laughs> besides American movies, and they're actually good. So I would uh, go seek out and. I, I wanted to see anything and everything um, foreign, uh, and uh, I was introduced to um, Dario Gento's uh, horror movies. I think they're called uh, Gallows in the, in Italian, but um, uh, like um, his masterpiece is Suspiria, um, which is uh, Gallows. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a Italian word. I I, I butchered the oh. pronunciation of it, <laughs> but yeah, but uh, but yeah, if, um, Suspiria is uh, S U S P I R I A. Yeah, there you go. Nineteen seventy seven. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. They remade it uh, in two thousand eighteen, but um, there's the nineteen seventy seven version of it uh, right there. But yeah, cool. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no worries. Honestly challenged there. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> but huh. yeah, he's and uh, and I lean more towards horror, so uh, my right. my influences are gonna go leaning that way. But that's um, good though. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never seen and I, this is one of the things I need to do my homework on and see for sure. And the Mr. Vampire two thing, to, uh, that, that mm -hmm. for sure. Like mm -hmm. that, uh, I don't have the only horror uh, sci-fi thing that I have is like what everybody else has, which is more on the alien side than anything mm -hmm. else. And right. uh, I exactly. will always, I'll side on the. This is just me being a fan. Mm -hmm. I will always side on the on the uh, on the side of really Scott did right than wrong, and I don't mean mm -hmm. like uh, whatever. I'm just happy that he's still alive and pushing out films. So like that's not like the <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> uh you know uh premonition mm -hmm. for if the movie's really good or not because well you had uh alien you had covenant you had yada 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 uh, right prometheus and then covenant and then uh well mm -hmm. those were yeah, it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. yeah i did like uh bits of i, I like the atmosphere of prometheus it, that the whole um visual and atmospheric right. element of it if you dug deep into the story you might <laughs> right, right come right. up wanting but yeah, and 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 this all kind of comes around to like the Asian movie influences, like and of course, like I'm gonna lead off with this. I'm uh, I'm sure you've seen it too, The Ring. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Thing. And then there was another one <laughs> yeah. that was not The Ring, but it was the Japanese version of it um, mm -hmm. that was really dark. And I, God, I didn't do my homework. Oh, uh, uh, Ringu, Ringu. Yeah, that's it's, what. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, I might spell it. <laughs> Ring with a U at the end, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's right. Uh, IMDb. Yeah. yeah, I forget what year it, it came like out. the original that was it. It was based on. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. I got, how did it yeah, go? nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I, I heard about this, this for sure. Uh -huh. I the the funny story about this one. I heard I heard about this before it was released here in America, and I was desperate to see this movie. So I was online asking, asking around, sure. and uh, I found someone that uh, could copy it to uh, uh, a VCD. You remember those? Uh huh. And yep. uh, 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 <laughs> record it to a VCD and uh, send it to it. me. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and he sent it to me, and I was able to see it, which kind of plays into the whole, um, you know, passing on a VHS. <laughs> yep. Of it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, well, th and that kind of brings up a thing like our our uh, our brothers and sisters and friends and family in Canada, if we have any ever that exists, they actually have a thing like where that's not a big deal. 
Yeah, they already taxed on it, and they're kind of expected that they can just do a DVD backup or a copy of whatever they have. Mm-hmm. Like, whereas, like, when we we don't have that over here, it's like a uh, far more uh, yeah. right. antagonistic Absolutely. environment for a pirate mm-hmm. and, and this and that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that would be that's cool that you had that. That's that's really cool. <laughs> I think I saw it. Yeah. In, oh, uh, I, I meant to I, I meant to say actually, uh, it was a friend that that did that. I, it wasn't right, me. Right, I, right, I, right, I, right. I, I don't believe in. Uh, you know, no, you're good. any type you're of good. copyright violations. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, you should uh, uh, play fair. And uh, if anything you mm-hmm. want, uh, possibly, <laughs> you could probably find it uh, in one of the, what it, what, uh, what it was the joke when we had cable TV, like 15 million channels and nothing on. Now it's 15 million right. streaming channels and nothing on. He's paid the same or more than cable, yada, yada, anyway. But absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I remember seeing this and I I know it was in um, here in St. Louis they had a they would play some obscure kind of foreign films and I can't recall mm-hmm. the name of it but um, uh, I did see this at the I think it was at the Tivoli I think the Tivoli had this okay, Tivoli, yeah, yeah. but they would play something like that like art house kind of mm-hmm. things oh yeah um, absolutely uh, but I, I remember seeing it in the theater and I remember it was it was freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> not to, I'm not really necessarily a scary horror fan to a point. Right. Right. Um, I will admit that the uh, the uh, zombie movie with the the one where they were trapped in the mall, where the mm-hmm. mom gave birth to the zombie baby or whatever, it was very <laughs> like that one. Uh, what was that one called? You remember? Ah. Uh, um you're uh put me on the spot I, i'm not not sure yeah yeah anyway that one that, that um, particular one um but it was like uh 2000 it was early was 2000. it dawn of the dead yeah was that's, that's dawn, exactly dawn of the dead. yeah that's a yep. zach schneider remake yep. yeah exactly exactly yeah that yeah. one that one it was zach schneider that's so funny anyway uh <laughs> that one james Gunn wrote it too yeah, the the one that freaked me out yeah. in that in that mm-hmm. horror one was like when they were in the uh, one of the scenes they had like a normal suburban house, cul de sac, whatever, and then mm-hmm. they kind of they uh, I, I'm not remembering all of it, but basically it was like mm-hmm. the husband and the wife were asleep, and then they woke up, and then they saw the kid was basically turned into a zombie, and then it was like mm-hmm. from there it kind of kicked off or whatever, and I'm mm-hmm. misremembering a, a lot of that, but. No lie, that at the time that caused me to like make sure I made sure the door was locked because like the zombies mm-hmm. could come, you know, like that. It was like, right. for instance, like <laughs> for sure, that's like a good horror horror film, I guess. Mm-hmm. Is that what you look for in a horror film that like kind of just like just reaches down and just makes your spine tingle? Mm-hmm. yeah it, it's gotten to the point where uh, not a whole lot of stuff you know offsets me but yeah if something really disturbs me then um then it, that that's something special like uh the movie uh martyr it's a french movie okay. that one's the most brutal movie i've ever seen and and the most mind-bending don't watch it if you're just looking for something to um i think there's like an american uh remake of it too um but yeah the 2008 one okay that one's that one's a complete mind trip and mm. will leave you messed up <laughs> guaranteed okay. so uh warnings <laughs> ahead for any of these uh going from probably mr vampire mr vampire is probably campy and you could probably handle it but anything right. not that it's probably right. like uh, a thriller or a mind I don't want to say the word but like a mind messes with mm-hmm. your mind kind of thing is that mm-hmm. what you would say yeah this this one goes it goes in places that you wouldn't it it's not that it's brutal but the right. the things okay. that they discuss in it and and right. do in it okay. just I, I won't go into it because it's no, you're good. You're not, good. not family friendly, and yep. also I, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you right. if you, if we'll, you do we'll, want to want to watch it. We'll leave it out there, and we'll we'll let folks figure it out for themselves. <laughs> right. uh, warning, uh, and then we're gonna back yeah, up just, to Ringu, just, and then uh, and the other one, and just, then uh, Mr. Yeah. Vampire back to the to the host. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then um one other uh asian well uh one other that i i'd like to recommend is takashi mike okay. is a uh, last name spelled m-i-i-k-e um 
or I think that may be his first name. I forget how the uh, sure, Japanese the name do the, their, uh, their surname. Uh, Takashi, T-A-K-A-S-H-A, I think. Sure. Yeah, there, there he is. I messed it up, but, but we got there. <laughs> he has... Uh -huh. He has done so over. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there sorry, you go. Sorry. Yeah, if you scroll through, he's done hundreds of movies. Um, <laughs> anyone you want to call uh, attention to? Oh, I've I've uh, he's done hundreds, and I think I've seen uh, more than half of them. So, yeah. um, right. <laughs> I'll just kind of give you an overview. He does. He does everything. He he's done. Um, he done. He's done a lot of Yakuza movies. He's okay. uh, done some um, uh, period pieces. Sure. Uh, he's done uh, lots of horror movies. He's done children's films, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, he has done a. There's a tradition in Japan, as, as so I'm told, that uh, in January they usually put out um, family musicals. Uh -huh. uh, I guess to celebrate the year, and he did one, um, uh, his version of it, which was a, a very family happy oriented uh, musical with zombies in it. And <laughs> I gotta see that. You know what? Uh, it's called? Uh, happiness. If you scroll down, I think it's da, 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 da. it's um happiness uh, of the. There you go, right there. That one that's spotlighted. Uh, that one, that one's a complete trip, and, uh, and it's a family. Uh, it's a family uh, movie, definitely. As you see them all <laughs> hand in hand, there is a big number where the grandpa is dead and is a zombie, and it's his big um, singing number. <laughs> That's funny. I can see the uh, poster, and it makes me mm -hmm. laugh because of the. Uh, <laughs> Was the the Von Trapp family sound of music? Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that's about? what they're 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 going yeah. for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, Absolutely. That's, that's what that that's the vibe I get. Is that similar? Is that a correct vibe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. yeah, absolutely. Right. I think the family um, purchases or gets a a, a, ha a home uh, or a hotel, and right. it's them uh, <laughs> fixing that's it awesome. up and and whatnot. That's awesome. <laughs> No, this is great. This is great. Like, so uh, we, we're, we're rolling out our recommendations here for like things that you could, you should watch uh, and see with respective warnings ahead. But I want to see <laughs> right, this. Right. I want to see this. I don't even care if it's bad or not or whatever. I just want to see it. Like, it looks, mm -hmm. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing is he, he's, he's done some very uh, competent, um, so I say, uh, very artistic movies, and then he does like complete schlock. He, uh, he, he kind of he. Um, he, he I, I think a lot of uh, Asian, at least Japanese directors, they kind of look at it, kind of um, not as being an artist, but as a, mm -hmm. a workman, and mm -hmm. so they they get hired for the job, they do it. Uh, but he does it with such flair that you know he's <laughs> he's uh, he's brilliant at it, and uh, whatever he does, he he goes all in on it, right. and uh, he puts himself all out on on the page or on the That's screen. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I, I would say kind of going from from that like uh, a little bit more. Uh, the first time, and I wasn't aware of this when I was a kiddo, but uh, th there was a uh, anime, whatever. And it just mm -hmm. started to influence, um, I guess, in the 80s, a little bit here or there. Mm -hmm. But anyway, like the, the one that I remember was the Mysterious Cities of Gold. Uh -huh. uh, for like the like that I recall, I didn't know that, oh, any of this, but uh, I don't really have anything to say, but other than uh, I'll bring it up here and then we can go return to uh, more cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember um, this IMDb because we said that was our uh, source of truth, so to speak, not for ratings, but for just facts. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah. But did, did, did you ever see this uh, grown up or, or ever at, at all? No, no, no. That's uh, this is new to me. I have never seen it. This was I don't I'm not even going to pretend to know the creator of it, but I know that. Uh, uh, this is the guy who did it, uh, but it was made in Japan, and then it was brought over and dubbed uh, in America in like the mid '80s, and that's when I saw mm -hmm. it. 
in um, okay. Nick Nickelodeon, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, it, yeah, it it drops you in the conquistador era, uh, where they were uh, conquering South America, or whatever. Anyway, like kind of mm-hmm. goes with these kids and this eagle and this whole thing of like finding the mysterious cities of gold. But that was like uh, near and dear to my heart growing up as a kid. And like uh, mm-hmm. when I found out later on, like it, it it's just interesting. I wish I could do more justice mm-hmm. to it, but uh, yeah. I feel like that. I'm kind of coming in here with like one thing, uh, and like uh, <laughs> so, I'm leaning heavily on you for like your recommendations <laughs> and your insight to this particular subject. Mm-hmm. And I uh, eventually, yeah. as we go on here and we do more episodes, we would like to bring on special folks that mm-hmm. have experience in this that can say, "Hey, yeah. look, look at this thing for this reason mm-hmm. or that." But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. uh, what what we want to do most of all is like uh, encourage folks to like kind of step out their comfort zone. And just watch something or seek something out that's a little bit different than than you're used to, um, mm-hmm. and that's the, the, for the betterment of uh, entertainment mm-hmm. and, and just life is tough as it is. I just want to <laughs> sit back. I would just want to kick back and like see something that's cool. You know, maybe it's heavy, maybe it's not, but like that's kind of like what I would like to, for us to recommend. Mm-hmm. You know, for good yeah. good things for people to look into, but. Uh, aside yeah. from that, I'm still working through the uh, the manga that I have, the Planetes, and I'm not even saying mm-hmm. it right, but I'm still working through that. Um, mm-hmm. uh, aside from that, uh, do you have any other recommendations for? Uh, uh, we have the uh, Happiness, like that movie or whatever. Uh, uh-huh. uh, or, one other one that, um, if you go back to Takashi Miike's page, he did do an American Western called. Um, um, I'm gonna. Is it? Django, uh, Sudoku, I think. Um, let's see, uh, Suzuki, uh, uh, scroll up. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, if Sabu? you go up a little more. Mm-hmm. No, uh, no, if you go up on the list there, it's, um, uh, yes, yeah, like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Exactly you can see why I, I couldn't. <laughs> you can see why I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Obviously, so, right, well, right. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend to have any memory of any of these. Like, I'm going to write these down as we go through. <laughs> so this is a uh, an American Western uh, performed by an almost completely uh, Japanese cast. Uh, there might be oh. some Chinese in there, sure. but um, and they're phonetically speaking English. So none of them, pretty much none of them speak English. So it's like huh. listening to English as a foreign language. <laughs> all right. Because they, right. they don't know how to, um, they probably didn't have a linguist there. So they were speaking it, uh, emphasizing parts of words that probably didn't need to be emphasized. <laughs> so right. uh, even right. though it was in English, I, I had to watch it with subtitles. <laughs> and fun. then... Um, uh, the one American actor in it is Quentin Tarantino, who's uh, also a huge fan of Takashi Miike. <laughs> no kidding. So this, yeah, see, this is the six degrees of uh, separation, but with Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Like we, mm-hmm. if we can end it on Quentin Tarantino or toward the end of uh, the podcast, I think we're doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yeah, if he comes up an episode, it gets a gold star. <laughs> but, well, just the fact that there's Quentin in it, and mm-hmm. I have met people that don't like. Quentin Tarantino, but they're very rare, to mm-hmm. be honest with you. Like, and I think it's right. a generational thing. I think, I think mm-hmm. if you're outside of a certain kind of demographic or generation, like it's not for you. Mm-hmm. You just see the yeah. uh, brutality of it, but like versus you know the like we grew up with it, mm-hmm. and like Reservoir Dogs and mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. kind of that yeah. platform. Like he does. Well, he's yeah. he's in a whole league up by his own, but that's neither. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I don't and I, I've also a, a lot of times I'll, I'll find someone that says, "Well, I don't like Quentin Tarantino, but I do like this movie of his." Right. There's always like a one movie of his, like a right. My mom, my mom likes The Angry Eight. <laughs> That's, That's one of her her movies. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, uh, like I said, Takashi Miike, he he runs the spectrum as far as, um, and we'll probably revisit uh, Asian cinema and anime again at one point Absolutely. but um yeah definitely but, yeah. when I, I i come a little bit more loaded for bear for this um and mm-hmm. I, I i need to um really go because i have watched uh japanese inspired like anime and manga that kind of thing mm-hmm. and i recognize like that there's a difference between the two but 
Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm learning. You know, I, this is not my <laughs> first thing, but uh, it's still mm-hmm. anytime that there's a good storyline, you mm-hmm. you see that very clearly. You know, like even if they're you know it's fun to watch mm-hmm. or whatever, but uh, mm-hmm. definitely for for sure. Do you have any uh, Next- um, like anything in print that you would recommend uh, for this angle? Um, that you want to like as we as we kind of roll up things. Yeah, um, I'm I, I'm not a huge manga guy. Um, I've <laughs> I'll, I'll pull out a classic Akira. Uh, there's the the movie and the the manga. Uh, the uh, the movie came out while it was they were still writing the manga, uh, so the the movie ends in a different place than the actual manga. Now but, uh, was the was the movie was that. Uh... <sighs> And I'm gonna I'm showing my ignorance here, but was that the uh, battle angel thing one that with the big eyes and the thing that was like a couple years ago? You know what I'm talking about? No, no. This this is back in the um, late '90s. Okay, so I, I, I mean like a little, remake or yeah. a, a film that they've made. Oh, recently, oh. That they made like a, a thing, but that has nothing to do with this, right? Right. I, okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I stand. Yeah. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> That's cool. Um. But yeah. Yeah. The the anime was uh pretty big as I, I, I was about off a decade. It was eighty eight. <laughs> I haven't. I need to watch this. This is one one mm-hmm. of the ones that I need to watch. Like this is like. Mm-hmm. There's this that one, one's... and the the other one that I hear all kinds of things about is Cowboy Bebop and. Uh, that yep. one is like always, or uh, mm-hmm. I think I'm. I think that's what it is. That puts mm-hmm. doing a show about it. I think. Right, and um, yes, I've seen that they they did do a, a movie of Cowboy Bebop as well, but <laughs> I've never seen the um the actual series, so that could be an idea for us. And um, I've seen most of these movies. Ghost in the Shell's good. Perfect Blue's good. Um, I've seen parts of this, the anime one. I've seen parts of it. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't. I watched. Uh, I watch more of the uh, anime of it than I have the uh, live action one. The right, live action right. one was like take or leave it. I wasn't really. Mm-hmm. I honestly, I didn't. I didn't finish watching it. So, but I uh-huh. did. I did. I would like to watch more of the Ghost in the Shell one. Perfect Blue. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. I'm not even aware that it exists. Yeah, um, Perfect Blues um, is a, a thriller that's uh, inspired by. Uh, the Italian director I was speaking of earlier, Dario yeah. Gento's uh, movies, okay. to bring it <laughs> bring it around again. <laughs> so the Martyrs, that was the one. The uh, Pascal. Uh, oh no, uh, Dario Gento, the Suspiria one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dario. Yeah, Dario yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a lot. Of yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and his movies. Um, uh, a lot of times they're more style over substance. Uh, a lot of times the stories aren't the the focus. It's the mood, the the mm-hmm. look of it. Um, but yeah, cool, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, no. I the only other thing, and I said it last week. I need to come more prepared, but uh, like I need to see. Uh, I really need to get spun up more on the anime world. I need mm-hmm. to see Akira. I've seen that before. Uh, and mm-hmm. I, uh, obviously Ghost in the Shell, that's classic. And then the uh, Cowboy Bebop or whatever the hell it is, mm-hmm. whatever. I, I know mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't want to want to offend any, any fellow nerds out there, but uh, I'm one. <laughs> so this is right, a great yeah. world. And the, the point being yeah. that uh, Netflix took a chance on South Korea and their uh, Squid Games. Mm-hmm. And it probably just pushed yeah. it out like they do like a lot of things and it caught on. Mm-hmm. And here we yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of anime, I, I'm playing catch up too. There's huge gaps in my in my knowledge. Like I'd always wanted to see Neon Genesis Evangelion, and sure. they um there was just no, it was never in print. So uh, as far as uh, DVDs and um, Blu-rays, but uh, Netflix uh, <laughs> got the rights to it recently, and I watched that whole series. And that one that one's kind of a mind trip as well. But um, um, what's it called here? Let me put it in. Uh, neon genesis even killian probably once you get to genesis it'll autofill <laughs> oh my goodness uh even uh yeah there you go right there oh, that first geez. link uh-huh. 
Holy cow. I cannot. <laughs> I swear, my like, computer's a little bit off today because we're doing the streaming mm-hmm. thing. So anyway, mm-hmm. uh, never mind that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I watched the original series. The creator has gone back and uh, remaked and expanded on it on uh, movies, okay. uh, anime movies that he's um, that uh, um, Amazon has has on their site which I, I haven't gone through those yet but just <laughs> original series i've watched and yeah if you like uh big robots fighting monsters uh that's there and there's more more to it there's more of a right. uh um a, a spiritual element to it as well as a um a, the, uh, the the people that actually run those uh robots are teenage kids and one of the kids um the the director of the whole program uh it's his son and there's like a a estranged relationship there that's kind of interesting interesting okay yeah i was gonna say i can't believe i uh we didn't make it this far um and this is very um typical but the only other thing i've seen is the dragon ball z series and that's mm-hmm. very broken up between this and that. I'm aware of this mm-hmm. and, and Super Saiyan and this and that, but I don't even want to. <laughs> I mention it as like a, a honorable mention, but uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to get. I don't really necessarily want to get into it because it's you know it's cool. It's cool, but right. like I, I feel like this is a lot more closer to the grain, um, mm-hmm. and there's a little bit more you can get out of these pure things than like things that everybody else has seen. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. I used right. to make fun of um, Dragon Ball Z is that the, you know, two big ahead of guys screaming at each other for 30 right. minutes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which, and then, and then it's, it's, 30, it's that, but it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then there's like punch and then it, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Like, I, I get it. Yeah. I, I've seen those memes too. Yeah. And that, and that thing. I, I, I still enjoy it, but it's like, uh, right. And actually the, my, um, a friend of mine wanted me to, to watch it and I, I've gotten up to the, Frieza saga, and then there's uh, there's uh, there's more to it than, than what I've I've made fun of it as, but, uh, but it's yeah. <laughs> it, it's entertainment. It's compelling. I'm not going to say it's the best thing in the world because it's not, but uh, right. You know, or, or somebody would crucify you over like what it. Oh, how could you say this? But like whatever, it's entertaining enough. Mm-hmm. Like like you like you said, at the at the very end of it, like at least it's like popcorn entertainment. It's fun. It, mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. sit back. It's escapism. Right. That's all the movies are. Mm-hmm. TV shows are like that's. Mm-hmm. when they're good yeah. they're good enough and you can suspend mm-hmm. disbelief and all this and that but mm-hmm. uh in any case yeah. uh, i think we're rolling up on on our end time but you have any uh-huh. uh, like we we went all through those but uh mm-hmm. you have any thoughts or closing closing remarks for a squid games or or uh kind of anything else related to like what we've talked about um no i think that well i could probably go on another hour or two about <laughs> do various things but uh, i think i think that's you, you, a good place to you've given me like, uh, yeah. like uh definitely a lot of stuff that i'm going to be checking out this next week for mm-hmm. sure <laughs> and um no i had a question for you have you sure. um are you uh watching or reading anything uh lately uh i am actually uh, that you bring that up uh we i did start reading dune um because i had mm-hmm. never seen or read the book before the movie um mm-hmm. but i did i read the first uh i think the, we said the first uh, few chapters or something like that um and mm-hmm. i'm progressing through that and i'm um mm-hmm. i'm really enjoying it um it's not mm-hmm. like i thought it was going to be I, th- I thought it would be boring or drawn out or whatever but mm-hmm. it's actually captivating and it, it holds its own i'm not going to say mm-hmm. it's the best thing i've ever read i still love mm-hmm. the timeline i still like ian and banks mm-hmm. but like yeah, and there's a special little place in my heart growing for uh, Mr. Herbert, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, I, I'm like you. I picked up uh, the digital copy of the book, and uh, I'm about uh, 130 pages into it. Okay. And yeah. uh, and like you, I, I I wanted to read more, but you know things get in the way. But uh, right. maybe by the end, uh, once we finish up the book, we could do a discussion on it. But uh, but yeah, I'm like you. It's um, it's it's a little more faster paced than I thought it would be and uh, more engaging. And um, yeah, the, one of the things that kind of kept me from it was that I got, well, that's, it's probably going to get into a lot of political and, you know, stuff. And I don't know if I could follow that. And, and, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very user-friendly as they would say. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think um, I think in current news, I don't really want to cover this too much, but like I think things that are out there already, I think we're on the precipice for um, the time or the Wheel of Time series. I don't know when it's coming out. There's that's coming out. There's also uh, the Expanse is coming out. Uh, are there any mm-hmm. other sci-fi shows that you're looking forward to or that you heard on the grapevine that they that and it doesn't matter if they're sci-fi or fantasy like that that people should be on the lookout mm-hmm. for? Um The Witcher comes out yep. next month. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch yeah. did you we can get into it later if it's relevant, but did you like the first show or season or or would you watch mm-hmm. the second or yeah, I uh, actually I, I was reading um I've been reading the the books of The Witcher as well, okay. and uh, the the fun to. the fun thing about the first season is um, a lot of the episodes are based on the um, short stories mm. um, of, of The Witcher, uh, which is kind of fun. And I actually haven't watched the final episode of the season because I was waiting oh. to finish finish the short story it's based off of before I watched it, but, but I got distracted and I never got back to reading it. So I'll go ahead and I'll probably end up watching it um, in the uh, lead up to the uh, the new season and just yeah. watch watch the season. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it's been long enough. I probably need to like uh, watch a recap at least, or like uh, watch. So I'm, I'm not going to watch the whole series. I enjoyed it, but like uh, not enough to watch it all the way through again, but uh, I agree. Uh, it, it, mm-hmm. it's compelling enough um and i i gotta say like i don't know about you but like i've never i don't think i've ever lived in another part of time <laughs> as it stands like where there's just so many really good science fiction like not necessarily like blow your mm-hmm. doors off but like the culmination of like that like you have uh and we haven't even covered it but titans uh and we and mm-hmm. and we probably should and the uh, mm-hmm. there's another one I'm missing the point on, but there's also that invasion series uh, that's on Apple TV mm-hmm. Plus um, mm-hmm. that seems pretty good, and, and uh, it's just there's a lot of good stuff mm-hmm. coming out. And now uh, we probably, should, <laughs> but all things being equal, I, I think we'll uh, we'll we'll kind of take what we have now and we'll expand upon mm-hmm. it. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, thank you so much, Thomas, for like uh, yeah. rolling us through like all oh, those uh, friggin' uh, oh, mm-hmm. uh, suggestions. <laughs> Uh-huh. Go ahead, and uh, one one last uh, suggestion to uh, lead us out. Uh, if you go to YouTube, uh, there's um, maybe you could do this every once in a while and spotlight kind of the weird uh, channels out there. That's right. Let's um, do it. <laughs> but uh, if you <laughs> go to YouTube and type in "not too shabby," uh, you should find a uh, an interesting website here. It's about for nothing. Uh huh. It, oh, hello. <laughs> Scroll down a bit. <laughs> that guy this right there. Uh, scroll, yeah. Which <laughs> you one? Know. Uh, scroll up a little bit. Um, not too much. That that guy right there. That one. Click on him. Yeah, kiss cactus. All right. Um, cool. I will do this. I will uh, post the link there, and then we'll uh, I'll put this in their show notes too. I'm gonna have all these links here. As we do this uh, and we progress, mm-hmm. like we'll have better show notes. I didn't have nothing mm-hmm. for last week, but uh, mm-hmm. in any case, uh, so that that's well, well uh, I guess what what's compelling to watch that? Like, why would somebody watch that, or or what's the hook? What's the lead oh, um, it's it's only um, his videos are only about eight seconds. So if you want to do um, do one or two of them, sure. <laughs> okay, and you'll. Um, I guess uh, I don't know if there was a I didn't hear any uh, vocals, but uh, or sound, but um, yeah. but yeah, he, he goes goes to different places and just says, uh, "Not too shabby." <laughs> <laughs> I think you, this uh, is, yeah, it was like a compilation of like the his shtick uh, or whatever. The various ones, yeah. yeah if you yeah. scroll down to his um, to his web page um, and click on it, there's uh, plenty of. Uh, yeah, if you click on Kiss Cactus, his uh, his page up at the next to the circle picture. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. If you um, he goes to like <laughs> he goes to like Burger King and uh, whatnot. <laughs> okay, 
All right, that's cool. That's awesome. And they're 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 about eight seconds. He'll uh, go to place to say not too shabby. <laughs> right, right. I see that now. Okay, that's cool. cool, cool. Yeah, I don't I don't have anything to bring, but uh, we'll 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 uh, end up with that uh, comical <laughs> note. And uh, oh. uh, my name's uh, Mike Shaw, and and uh, this has been the first. Yep, and this is Thomas, and uh, I have to say this podcast was not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first, the last, the nerdum, and uh, right. we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll be here next week, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, bye, bye. Oh man, where is the thing? Did it quit recording? Hopefully, it, all right. This is all me here. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. That would be funny. Uh, this is all weather reports. What did it do? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Sorry, I've moved the uh, screen controls over to the side. <laughs>